This man was on duty the night Corey Barker was allegedly bashed by police in the Ballina station. In the witness box today, Robert McCubbin said another police officer's statement was emailed to him and he wasn't relying on his memory to give his version of the events. Robert McCubbin was the sergeant at Ballina Police Station at the time of the incident. He was also in charge of keeping records for custody management. He admitted today during questioning that he may not have been able to do his job properly because he says they were understaffed. He admitted today that he didn't record a number of key facts. He said he should have recorded something about a scuffle and he should have checked on the prisoner as part of his duties, which led to the next line of questioning. The Crown Prosecutor Stephen Rushton asked former Sergeant McCubbin why Corey Barker was left handcuffed for two hours. The practice is against police policy unless there are extraordinary circumstances. The Crown Prosecutor asked, is there anything you can think of that would be a reason to keep Corey Barker in his cell with handcuffs on. Robert McCubbin replied, not that I can recall. Mr McCubbin recorded in the paperwork that Mr Barker was an Aboriginal man, but admitted that he didn't call the Aboriginal Legal Service, also a requirement of police policy. I don't have any recollection of him being an Aboriginal man. The former sergeant has been medically discharged from the New South Wales Police Force.